Hello guys and welcome back for episode 6. Yep, we are cruising along, but we ran out of tools. Hmm. What can we do about that? Oh, let's see. Let's grab some moldings, some glue or slime balls and some straps. And if we orient them uh, the right way, we get three hefts. Nice. Let's put them like that and get some soul forge steel. And we get ourselves a Marek. Sweet, our first steel tool. Now this little dude is uh, good for digging up soft materials like gravel, sand, dirt. And also for uh, stone and sandstone and all the hard materials. Sweet. It can also even be enchanted. So let's see what we can get out of a level 14 enchantment. Oh, now that's a good one. I'm liking this. And we also saved a, a spot on the hotbar. Sweet! I think it's time to introduce a new block from Better Than Wolves. And for that one, we will need another pair of redstone eyes uh, for a total of four. And we shall put them uh, like so in an anvil. Place four torches in the center and then fill everything else with stone. And you get yourself a body block. Now, this block is extremely cool. You notice it has um, this blue little thing on the outside. If I touch it, nothing happens. I jump on it nothing happens but let's say if I put some redstone and you see this little red little thingy let's see which one of these do something uh, let's grab a block and oh oh well this one is the one that uh, emits power and what this thing does it's a butt switch in a block um, let's grab... Uh, I don't know let's see what does change state what blocks change state hmm let me think how about this axle you know that if you right click on an axle with your empty hand it will change its orientation? Well, that is a block update. Ah! Oh. Sweet! So let's see what uses we can find for this little dude. So I grabbed the turntable. I will also need two block dispensers. And a sticky piston. You can make a sticky piston with glue. Uh, not only with uh, slime balls in Better Than Wolves, so that's sweet. In preparation for this, I went ahead and uh, dug in here where my uh, hibachi is and this netherrack is. Went ahead and dug this little room, and I have dro drone, I think drone, power from um, the main line from way over here to there. And I have um, I have grown tired of uh, manually making solarns with this archaic method. So I think it's time to automate the process. What do you think? Now, mind you, it it's not gonna be anything out of proportion. It will still be one unit and it will produce stuff at a um, decent rate not not um, it won't fly but uh, it won't crawl so let's start by placing this turntable here and now we will need to detect these turns if I am to place a torch on the side of it, you will see that this block of dirt is considered turning. It's a cube, so you don't really see it, but uh, 
Now let's say I take this one out and replace it with a gearbox. You can see it's turning. So all is good there. Let's put back the block of dirt and let's take this body block. Now you can see this is turning and it is reacting to the turns. So everything is fine and sweet. Now let's take a block dispenser and see if we can um, remove our, out of those pulses because right now it will pulse I think two times a second I think the first setting on um, turntable is half a second second is one two seconds and the last one is four seconds so we don't want it to pulse one uh, twice every second so let's grab this plug dispenser put it like so Oop. and we will uh, redo that little counter thingy let's see what happens if we do that it will put one and then go on the other one and so on and so forth if we are to remove that one uh, this will not happen but we want this to orient itself with the red thing on top of the dispenser. Now all is fine and sweet. So let's grab one of those. Actually, no, I want some stone. Enderman. I had some trouble with those in the past. I don't want to take any chance. So let's put a torch there, so that when this little dude will uh, put a solid block, it will transfer power to this block. This block will have a piece of redstone on top of it, so that when there's something there, that redstone will be powered. Let's take another, first let's get rid of that torch, and let's take another one of those block dispensers, and I'm not sure if this one will will power this dispenser so let's see yep it does sweet so now we have one counter here and another counter here uh, let's proceed by placing our piston right over there it's a sticky piston so we can go ahead and place one of those stone thingies right there but first how about I put some light underneath there so we can see what I'm doing or what we're doing and hmm it just occurred to me I need another one of these block dispensers oh, while doing uh, while making more uh, un unfired urns I accidentally pressed this button uh, too early so I ended up with a vase so what can we do in this situation oh, let's just grab the vase and keep it running for it to turn and we just fix that error okay here I am back with the block dispenser so let's put one um, um, support there and we want to have this block dispenser here this little dude will take clay or clay balls clay blocks or clay balls and if when powered it would put a clay block here provided there is there are four clay balls or one clay block it will put one here so it would start turning nice so um, let's see when this little dude will put a solid block here well this one starts doing its stuff so why don't I grab that one uh, that block will not be there it will just pulse so why don't I grab that little dude and do something like this with red, some redstone uh, I think I wanna do that like so uh, if we don't have um, these caps here Where's my stone? If we don't have this thing above it, um, some of the clay will um, will jump out of up, 
jump out out of the top so we will uh, lose some of the clay we want to recycle but uh, hmm, think of Enderman let's just replace all this dirt with uh, good old stone like so now we can grab this one ouch can I now get out of here oh yeah I love this mattock sweet let's put that one back there and how about we program this little dude shall we so um, in order to program this dude we will need 10 different things that don't conduct uh, redstone power and one block that does for that one and two blocks that don't conduct redstone power for this one and one that does uh, that's the program for an urn if you want a, uh, a crucible you will only leave one block that conducts redstone power if you want a planter you will need one block that conducts redstone power and one that doesn't um, adjusting these settings you can also get a vase but I have no idea if I actually need a vase at this point in time so I haven't tested what setting I need to program this dispenser and the one in the back in order to achieve such a thing so why don't I go grab some um, blocks that don't conduct to the stone power and um, I'll be back to program this little dude here are some stuff that uh, will not conduct redstone power but you must be thinking come on dude you're nuts will conduct redstone power it's a solid block well not if we process it and um, better than wolves adds a new little thing with this little saw you can cut various objects in half so you get wool slabs how about how about that? And I wonder, can you actually put them on the wall? Oh, no, you cannot. But still, that's cool for, s for uh, ceilings, I guess, and for floors. So sweet. How about we do the same for that? All the remaining wall. Nice. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and ten and I think I'll show you some stone for the solid block so how about I go ahead and program this little dude let's grab this axle out of here because this one is useful let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, se seven eight nine and ten and also solid block and uh, just uh, to make sure you guys understand what's happening as this body block is uh, providing pulses this cursor will um, move will cycle through these blocks placing one and then removing it going up to the next placing it removing it and um, as soon as it gets to this stone that stone will be placed above that redstone torch um, that block will uh, provide power to this piece of redstone and then this block dispenser will start cycling so let's fill this one with two wool slabs and one stone so as soon as this one gets its cursor here to the stone it will place it here this piston will extend it will pop off the finished well the unfired pottery in this case the urn and it will also fire this little dude the um, the block dispenser but uh, hmm, I'm thinking I had a torch here hmm let me check my test world yep definitely had a torch there in this specific fashion let me get rid of those put one here and one there and do I have any sticks? no now I do awesome, went ahead and made the torch and 
let's put a piece of redstone here and this redstone will turn off this torch which will turn off this uh, redstone wire which will briefly unpower this block this will block uh, uh, dispenser block dispenser god damn it it will briefly unpower it and then power it again and that will allow for a new clay block to be placed here so everything is good so I think we are in working condition now I might want to put one block there just so I'm sure I won't fall down there sweet so why don't I go grab some uh, some clay and test this little thing first of all let's make sure the that little line is facing this way and this will actually power the block dispenser underneath without any needs for redstone wire or anything like that so let's just cover this little thing and this one cycled the way we fix that the cursor is remove the block and then place it again sweet so um, I have went ahead and fed it 63 blocks of clay and the way you start it is by placing one there and it will start chugging along let's go on the back and hmm hmm now why that why did this happen hmm is this orientation specific actually the problem was somewhere else over here in the back you see this uh, I had a redstone dot here but you need to extend it over the block dispenser on the back otherwise if you have a redstone dot here this piston will also fire when um, there's a solid block there not only this block dispenser so um, it will not cycle as you see here this uh, cursor as soon as uh, that first block dispenser will put a solid block the piston will also fire but we can see now that uh, everything is working fine and uh, all the clay blocks and the unfired pottery is collecting at the front uh, and there's some clay balls over here this block here might uh, turn this body block might rotate uh, but the way to fix that is or at least as far as I have seen is remove this block over here give it a few wax with a wrench until that red line is facing the block dispenser and as soon as this machine is working uh, it's uh, cycling you can go ahead and put uh, the black back and everything shall be fine so let's watch it for a little bit planter vase and urn and then another clay block is put in place uh, to get that out of the way now we want to recycle those clay blocks so let's see how we can do that well I don't have all the materials I need right now so why don't I take this little hopper from over here and then go downstairs and uh, what it is over here and uh, dig a spot in here and make sure that I don't lose um, the drops by encasing this thing in uh, in cobble and I can uh, access I actually let's let me check that nothing gets lost in this configuration I had some uh, item drops that were falling where this block is so I just uh, put that cobblestone block there just to be sure so let me go mine a little bit and I'll be back to make another cool thing yeah, I return from mining and I see this 64 unfired pottery and these clay blocks also have summoned me so um, 
also had some on me be some on me beforehand so we should have gotten this 64 of unfired pottery and three stacks of clay balls sweet now uh, I went and grabbed some obsidian what for you might ask well give me a second and I shall show you why don't I take one soul urn six pieces of obsidian and three pieces of glass pane and we get you guessed it four obsidian transport pack these little dudes are also cool so let's see what they do um, let's put one on the ground and attach a few pieces and hmm, see what happens if we are to drop one item on top of it oh that is cool why don't we do something else? Oh, besides breaking that. Let's attach an engine to it. And uh, also a lever. And depending on the type of engine, uh, this behavior will um, enhance itself. Actually, I don't want to break that stack. Let's just grab one piece of coal. Put it in there turn the engine on and now let's drop that item here oh it sucked it from way over here sweet how about we no, not obsidian because that will take ages to break how about we make a wall between the obsidian pipe and an item will it still suck it yes it would how about we drop it right here so I can see it better well there's a limit depending on the engine type uh, this range will increase but that is awesome on so many levels so um, how about we replace that hopper with one of these obsidian pipes shall we but um hmm. How about I also grab one piece of diamond transport pipe. Also I went ahead and made two golden transport pipes and let's get some low friction transport pipes. And then let's go in our pottery room, make sure there's no mobs here. And let's clear these just for the moment. Uh, retrieve those and this hopper. And uh, I think I think I want the obsidian pipe somewhere over here. Uh, obsidian pipe, and this one cannot be connected to two um, pipes, so you cannot have a pipe here and a pipe here, and this one will be kind of like an intersection. No, nope. it has to be connected to only one pipe and um, that's why we will do a little bit of a roundabout in order to get our items where we want to so this diamond pipe will um, be used to sort clay blocks from uh, unfired pottery so why don't we put clay blocks back into the block dispenser and like I said four clay blocks in a block dispenser will make the block dispenser to put out automatically a block of clay but I'm wondering do I want this here or do I want the diamond pipe oh I don't know I think I might want it here like so and then replace the low free actually no let's put a, a gold pipe here because we want these to fly and let's grab one lever and power that gold transport pipe through there and um, let's say I want the unfired pottery to go up and I don't know spill here so um, why don't I go ahead and uh, grab some glass to observe and I'll be right back and sorry for the previous section 
I just noticed I was on full screen and I usually record uh, in uh, in a window with um, um, that is 720 but 180 by 720 so it will have low quality I'm hoping not but just in case sorry for that that's what happened yeah but anyway let's move on and let's actually dump these two pieces of glass we don't want them at the moment and grab one of these torches and that will power this piece of um, stone bricks and let's grab a trapdoor and in better than wolves you can put trapdoors pretty much whenever wherever you want and um, they will not uh, pop out or pop off so let's put it like no not like that come on come on come on come on come on come on come uh, on like this nope cooperate Oh, let's piece of put a glass. Well, there we go. A uh, cobblestone block there. Cool. So, why do we want that there? Well, especially that torch. Well, as you know, when you update a block near a door or a trap door, that um, trap door will also be updated. So, um, in this case, if this trap door was to be unpowered, like so, uh, and it's up. When that piston pushes, it will trigger a block update on this trap door and it will close. And we do not want that, therefore we want to dig for our torch, whatever it fell, and place it somewhere over there. That way we make sure that every time this trap door is up, and preventing any clay blocks or other drops from uh, uh, falling on this piece of um, on this piece of stuff. So why don't we program this little dude? So we have I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have black going to the dispenser, to the block dispenser, and blue going to have unfired pottery. So why don't we program that? Uh, blue pottery and clay black so um, let's cover this thing and why don't we feed a few clay blocks in there and just to start this let's make a clay black make sure this one is on the first uh, the cursor is on the first the back one is also on the first that's good and let's put the clay block there, there, close the door, and let's see what happens when um, it finishes, when it finishes um, potterying, I guess. So we have a base, any minute now, clay went up, and then we have one unfired pottery there. Let's watch another time. This time, I don't know, from here, this angle. Oh, just saw the clay going up. Two pieces of pottery. And just another time to make sure. Pottery and clay. So, all is good, if we take a look down there, um, I don't know, like this, to see exactly what's going on. Clay is a little bit slower, but it eventually finds its way out. Sweet! So all we have to do now, all we could do now is put a chest here and leave this running forever. No, or until it runs out of clay, obviously. Would you look at that, almost 5 stacks of unfired pottery and also 3 clay balls that I just pulled out of this block dispenser so yeah, this fucking thing works, I'm happy but I'm not gonna manually fire all these so uh, why don't you guys meet me for the next episode 
where I'm gonna build the Hermetic Kiln right beside it. So I hope you all, uh, hope you guys like this episode, and I shall see you guys next time.